I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Central Valley. It's Madison and Michael here with your announcements for today, February 12th, 2018. The lunch menu for today is pizza sticks with zesty marinara sauce and sweet peas. World history students from Mr. Bell's or Mrs. Zillian's classes from both semesters are encouraged to return permission forms as soon as possible if they are interested in attending the BCCTC field trip on February 13th. Attention all students, you may check in and check books out of the library Tuesdays and Thursdays during academic study hall. Students should have a pass from their study hall teacher prior to entering the library. This is a reminder that students are not permitted to park in front of the school in the teacher's parking lot. Parking privileges will be revoked if students are found parked in this lot. Attention NHS members, remember the food drive is in full swing. Check your emails and bring four items to Mrs. Jones' room by this Friday. The tickets for the Central Valley Musical All Shook Up are on sale. Adult tickets are $10 and student tickets are $9. Tickets can be purchased at the high school office or at the door the night of the show. Senior Brianna Fleming is aiming to raise money to support the Butera Foundation, a local foundation created to help children with disabilities. She will be holding a fashion show at CVHS on March 23rd. Any student, male or female, who is willing to donate their time to model at this event should register by emailing her at flemingbury18 at cvstudent.net. In addition, she will be collecting donations and selling t-shirts to further her efforts during lunches later this month. This is a reminder to all juniors to get their physicals. That's all we have for today, CV. Now here is Nate and Tori with your sports. Good morning, Central Valley. It's Nathan and Tori with your sports today. Boys basketball plays at Bethel Park tonight at 7.30. Saturday, the Central Valley swim team competed at the MAC competition in Moon High School. Alexa Gonzi placed fifth in the women's one-meter diving, and Andrew Kuzmich was the highest finishing Central Valley swimmer, placing seventh in the 100-yard backstroke. In intramural news, the Nets play the Thunder in the main gym, and the Lakers play the 76ers in the Ox gym. That's all for your sports today, CB. Now here's Madison and I with your Monday motivation. Hi, CB. Tori and I are back with your Motivational Monday segment. This week, we'd like to talk about confidence. Confidence is your best accessory, so don't forget it at home. Confidence is something you create within yourself by believing in who you are. Remember, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. Self-confidence is the best quality a person can have. How can anyone see how great you are if you can't see it yourself? Believe you can, and you're already halfway there. This week, we want to challenge you guys to inhale confidence and exhale doubt. Doubt makes you weak. Believing in yourself makes you strong. The choice is yours. To end, here's a short clip on confidence. Your brain is like a circuit switch. Once you believe you are something, you actually embody it. You embody that feeling. If you were, God forbid, in a coma, and you woke up, and you didn't really have a memory, and you were told that you used to be a Navy SEAL, and they want you back now when you're healthy, 
Do you think you'd act differently and hold yourself differently, conduct yourself different, and have a different self-concept of who you are than if you were told you were a piano instructor? Being successful in life is all about having the proper belief system in who you are. Truly believing that you are something unique, that you are something special in that field. If you truly believe inside of you that you are one of the best actors in the world, you will be entirely different than if you're like, I hope I'm good. Your expressions will be totally different, your tone of voice. You'll talk in a more convincing fashion. You'll use your natural voice instead of a scripted one. You'll be more emphatic. You'll be more real, more relatable. Our brain is like a circuit, and so if we introduce it with the proper wiring, you're going to go straight to your target. If you're unsure about who you are, then your dreams, your goals, they will never become a reality. If you want what you've never had before, if you want to do what you've never done before, if you want to be what you've never been before, change your mentality. And I want you to see that effort goes up when you look, when you look at it as, I got an opportunity of a lifetime. But you should be excited about the fact that you have an opportunity. Hey CV, it's Mike and Curtis here with a special segment. For those of you who don't know, there is currently a car in space. Elon Musk, the founder of Tesla and SpaceX, has started a project in which they are sending a Tesla Roadster up to space. The car was shot up to space in a rocket called the Falcon Heavy, which some call the most powerful rocket ever made. The rocket was launched on February 6, 2018. The car's intentions were to go to Mars, but it has the capability to go much farther. Elon Musk is changing the world one step at a time. Now here is an interview with Mr. Whipkey on Elon Musk. Hey, hey Stevie, I'm here with Mr. Hey, Whipkey. Good day. Good day. I'm here to ask him a couple questions about um, the SpaceX. And do you know who Elon Musk is? I do. I do. He's the chairman and CEO of uh, a couple of companies. One of them is SpaceX. Another is Tesla. Another is Solar City. But, um, it's something else. Now, how is it possible for a car to orbit in space? Um, well, the rocket that went up, which was the most powerful rocket to ever leave Earth, uh, opened its bay doors and they turned it and pushed it out into space, heading towards Mars. Because okay. okay. of the lack of gravity. Now here is a video of the car in space. Thank you, Ms. Webke, for your time for the interview. Hopefully the students at CV learned something new today.